All right, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of New Parents in Training. So today I'm going to attempt to change out all the filters for this APAC water system. So we have this ever since we got moved to the house and, uh, and it's been working really well. So if you don't know them, they uh, manufacture here in the US that they uh, reverse osmosis uh, water. And the system we got is, it consists of six stage. So you see one stage one, two, three, and then there's three more filters up top. It also comes with a pretty big water tank over there as well. If you currently have this system or you think about getting this system, it's really good. The filter that you need to change out of the following, the, the six are over here, but you don't have to change all of it at once. So for the bottom three, those are the need to be changed quite frequently. So usually about six to 12 months. And then you have this main brain filter this one need to be changed every two to three years and now looking on top this tcr filter this one need to be changed two to three years as well now one other one that need to be changed every six months or so is this one over here it's a ph filter uh, since today i'm going to change all six of them i'm just going to go ahead and do one single video and if you want, like to just follow follow along, the beginning will be the same. Whether you want to change one filter or all of them. So first off, you want to shut off the cold water. Now for my system is this knob here. So you need to shut off this valve this way. Since the filter works off the cold water, so it's just as long as your cold water is being turned off, you're good to go. And also the water tank here, you do not want to have any pressure or uh, water that going out, so just shut this off. Now let's move on top to the sink. Now make sure your cold water... Now my hot water is still running, but my cold water is off. You shut off the water tank, but just make sure that you turn this thing on to let some of the pressure out. So this way it's easier to take out the filter once you start working on it. Well, the tools that you'll be needing, obviously the filters. So for the stage one, is this filter right here. The F-I-E-S-S-E-D-10. I'll put all the items in the description down below so you can go check it out. So first stage is this one. And, but the second stage and third stage is actually of the same type of filter. You just need two of them. Now, one thing that is good about APAC is that um, when you purchase the filter, usually they come in a set. So you don't need to just buy one. Uh, whenever you need to change out the entire system, you know, six month period, then you just buy the entire set. Uh, and also you need to have three new O-rings so the old one might have lost integrity over time. So once you take out the housing, it's advised to change the old ring as well. So make sure that you use the wrench that came with the water system initially. And also don't forget, anytime you're working with things that have to be involved with water, just keep a uh, bucket handy. So that way uh, in case of you messed up, uh, at least you have a way to catch some of the water before it gets really bad. Make sure you keep a towel handy, just in case there's any water leak. I remember uh, lefty loosey, righty tidy. So turning to your left, you're gonna lose this up, loosen this up. Yeah, see how dirty it is. This thing came in white <laughs> and now it's black. So inside the housing is quite dirty. Uh, so what the company suggests is to use uh, soapy water to rinse it and then put the new one inside. Now, as you can see here, this black hole ring, make sure that you take it out. It might need to take a little convincing, but if you pick on it, it will come out. So yeah, this needs to get replaced. So the first stage filter is F-I-E-S-S-E-D-10. So this is the filter for the first stage. Don't forget the new O-ring. 
So if you can really tell, here's a groove here that you place the O-ring into. So it will sit in place like so. And then you just put the new filter in here. First stop, you just hand tighten this till you can not anymore. Again, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So once you have hand tightened this housing, use the ratchet that came with the water system and tighten it until you cannot anymore. Okay, so now I'm done with the first stage. I'm gonna do the second and the third stage as well. The process is the same. Well, I find it a little bit easier if I take out the third one first and then second one before I change the filters. Because as you can see here, there's not much room for you to work on if you just want to uh, do the first stage first and then go straight to the second. So I think it's a little bit easier to get the third one out and then get the second one out and then change the second one and then change the third one in that sequence. I take out the third stage filter and now I'm going to go wash it. Again, make sure that uh, use soapy water and rinse the inside of the housing and also take out the black O-ring, the old one in there. Well, this is being washed and now I'm going to put in the new filter in there. Uh, this one is F-I-E-S-C-A-B-10 filter. It's one of those carbon filters. It doesn't really have a top or a bottom, so to speak. So it, you won't really uh, mess up if you flip it upside down or this this way. And so it doesn't really matter. And put it in there and grab on the new O-ring. And same thing, just put it inside the group. So all the housing are essentially the same. Now the third stage is prep. So the second stage housing is actually kind of dirty inside compared to the third one. So I'm going to go rinse it now and then prep for it to be reinstalled. Okay, now that the second housing is also clean, I'm going to put in the filter now. So again, the second stage and the third stage are using the same type of filter, F-I-E-S-C-A-B-10. So I'll put that in there. And also don't forget about the O-ring. Now the O-ring, when you purchase the filter, the O-ring does come separately. Uh, so just keep that in mind, you should purchase one. And put the O-ring in here. And now I'm going to install the second stage first. Again, turn until you cannot hand tiny anymore, and then use the wrench to do the rest of the way. Make sure this is on tight, especially the second one, because once the third one is on, it's harder for you to work on the second one. Now the third one, and give it a really good turn. You don't want any water to leak out. So anyway, uh, if you're watching this video, you just want to change the bottom three filter, this will be it. If you're going to continue to watch this video, I'm going to walk you through how to change the top three uh, filters as well. So now I'm going to change the top three filters. The first one I'm going to change is the main brain. Uh, this one you need to change every two to three years, FYI. Now it might be a little bit easier to work on if you just take this off on the bottom. like so and then remove the top two as well so that way now only the, the bottom one the main brain that you need to work on is exposed now there are three pipes that's connecting to this membrane 
you just need to remove this one because the housing opening is right here. You hold down this tab right here and then you just pull and off it comes. Okay, so I try really hard to use my hand to turn this, but uh, it was it, it won't even budge. I looked into the supply that came with the water filter initially, and I found out that okay, so it does come with one of this to turn uh, this housing here. Okay, so this is on really really tight. Uh, it, it took two people to actually get this thing off, but once you get it off. Um, According to the instruction, you need to use a prior to pull the membrane out. Like so. And then pour out the residual water inside the housing. But since we're not, it tells you not to disconnect everything. So we're not even going to uh, clean the inside. And then according to the instruction, we're not supposed to use rear hand to touch it. So I already tear open the, this thing. And uh, now since it came out, how it came out is the same way that how it has to go back in. So make sure that the, this part is on the outside, otherwise it will not filter. The double ring is going in and this part is on the top. And don't touch it and just put it back in like so and then put this thing back on good thing this only needs to be changed every two years otherwise it's just too much hassle it's on really really tight so anyway now we turn to close it tells you the direction so you just turn until it's snug make sure the tubing is back into the housing here just push it down and it should just go straight in as you can see you have to take all this away to work on this housing but anyway so if that's all you need to change uh, so just check for leaks when you turn back on the water and also uh, the first tank of water need to be drained out so i would suggest you just turn on the filter water and let it drain completely and then let it refill back and drink that again and so that the one tank of water is out the second tank you can start drinking from that now let's move on to the stage five filter okay so for the fifth stage this has been wrapped in plastic and there's a reason for that uh, this opening here this t Junction. According to the instruction, I need to rinse this with mild bleach. So, uh, how do you? It doesn't say how much bleach you should use. It just says like mild. So, according to the bleach instruction um, on the back of the bleach bottle, it says that uh, to wash stuff, you should use one third cup of bleach with two quarts of uh, water. What we end up doing is this container is one quart so if we're gonna need one third cup uh, of bleach for two quarts that means uh, we need to use half of that so one sixth cup of bleach with one quart of water here and i'm gonna rinse through this hole right here just this part before i take out this plastic uh, this so according to the instruction i only need to wash off rinse this part and not the rest of the housing here so just keep that in mind before you open this you need to rinse this and this is the only part that need to be rinsed before installing so the according to the instruction reason being is to prevent contamination all right to so take the old one out it's quite simple you just press down on this part and just pull out the oh it's tripping. yeah Keep that in mind, there's excess water in there. You pull on top of this collar here. You want to pull down this tube. And there's another one in the back of here. So 
do the same, and this will come right out. Oh. And now in with the new. Now the new one has the bottom one here. You just pull it out. Now just in reverse, push in the tube back into place. This is the only part that needs to be rinsed with mild bleach. There's nowhere else that needs to be uh, doing that. Okay, so according to the instruction, you don't need to empty out any water, but then this you have to change every two to three years. So that means you have to change this along with the membrane. Now membrane does require for you to empty out the tank. So uh, if that's the case, then you'll be cycling the water anyway. So yeah, just keep that in mind. And also, every time you change any of this stuff, make sure when you turn back on the water, you need to check for leaks. Okay, now let's move on to the last one, the stage six, which is the middle part here. I lost the footage for the last filter installation, which is this one right here, the metal pipe. This is the stage six. So it's quite simple, just all, like all the other ones. You have to push in this tab, at the same time, pull out this uh, pipe. So you have to use two hands. I'm holding my camera with one hand. So yeah, I'm just going to show you. This is new, by the way. So this has already been changed. And same thing on this end, you just have to push in this tab while pulling out the pipe at the same time. Now it's quite simple to change this one. One other way to make sure that your flow is in the correct way is that for the stage five, it goes to the left and it goes to the stage six. This water flows goes straight to your drinking faucet. So that way you will know that this is uh, set up in the correct order. Goes to left, goes to right. And those two are the only two that has a uh, float direction of uh, the installation. Now since this, everything is set up, I'm going to turn on the cold water and the tank. And I'm going to empty out the tank. And then wait for it to refill at least one full tank. And then empty out that again. Uh, the second tank can be drinkable water after that. Once you turn the cold water on, you will hear the water is now pumping into the system. So the first time I installed this system, I actually run it through two cycles. So if you don't mind the weight, because usually uh, every time it takes about three hours to fill it. So just to be on the safe side, I'll empty out for two cycles and then refill it. And we can start using the water then. Well, I hope this video helps. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. Uh, if I have missed anything, just point it out to me. I mean, uh, I try my best to show you guys how to change it. Anyway, um, so hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.